Um, my experience here last year was the best I've ever had in my life. Uh, staying at the Coronado was just amazing. Running at Balboa was such a unique experience. And just getting to, getting to compete with such an elite group of guys, really, it makes you feel like you really belong in the sport. And so I feel like I belong back here. So talk about your region a little bit. We know that Drew went out hard and finished, you know, a little bit of ways in front of you guys. How are you going to close that gap up on Saturday and hopefully finish better than you did last year? Um, you know, I'm going to run as smart as possible. You know, if, if Drew goes, he goes, and I'll, I'll see what he does. But I'm, I'm going to stick to my gut in this race. And, you know, having run the course before is definitely an incredible advantage. So I'm just going to... I'm going to assess how I feel and, you know, I'm going to run based off feel and hopefully I can get a, a high spot. Favorite part of Foot Locker? Ooh. They stump you? You might have. There's too many good parts. I don't know. Just after the meet on Saturday, I just, I, I really enjoyed myself. You know, I think, I think being able to spend time here with the people that I'm here with is just such a unique experience. I'm so lucky to be here. Yeah. Can you tell us real quick a highlight of your cross country or your or last track season? So okay, so this this fall, um, our state our, our our team won the state championship for our classification for the first time in 15 years, and ever since I was a sophomore when I started running cross country, that was that was the goal. And you know I wasn't so sure it was going to happen this year, but we were able to pull it off. And so you know I thank the guys so much for helping helping us to do that. And you know that just that made my season really. Nice. Well, now you get to focus on yourself and have a great race on Saturday. It's so going to be so much fun. Thank you very much.